and welcome back to the Picture Channel. The Picture is known for its stunning sliders, and a big part of what makes them so eye catching is the animation. In this video, we'll be diving in and showing you exactly how we create some of those animations for the sliders. Our first example is this eye-catching marketing agency slider. Let us begin by giving this button an animation. So, select the button, go to animation on the top right, and in the animation in section, choose the fade in animation. Duration is how long an animation takes to play. In animation, easing basically controls how smoothly things move. Linear movement, like what you see in this graph, is a simple movement without any ease. We're using Ease Expo in out animation. You can see its graph over here. Now it's time to animate this image. Let's select it and choose the Move In animation. Within Move In, we can pick short from right for the animation effect. You can fine tune the animation's movement and timing for the best outcome. I'll also add a slight delay, making it appear after the other elements. Again, this graph helps us understand the ease quint function for this animation. Now on to our second slider. I want to give this cute Dougie an animation. So after selecting it, I go to animation and choose the long move from down. Let's customize its entrance position, give it a delay and set the ease animation to expo out. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content like this. In our third example, we will be animating these images. Go to animation and choose the custom transforming, then select the mask and transform in option. Customize the animation movement, timing, and transition. Once done, I want the other image to have the same animation, so copy its animation by right-clicking on the image and select Copy Animation. Now I go to the other image, right-click on it, head over to the Copy Paste Special and click on Paste Animation. For this one, I will choose the opposite direction and we're done. Play the animation to see how fantastic the animations look. On to our fourth slider example. I want to give these two images a coordinated animation. So first I select the circle, go to animation on the top right and choose the scale in animation. Once you choose your animation, you can customize its movement, timing, transition, and more to your liking. Nice movement. Now, let's give this image here an animation. A short move from down looks fine. Here, I want this image to appear after the circle, so I will give it a little delay. Customize the rest of the stuff and you're good to go. Example number five. I want to see this nice shoes image have a cool move. So once selected, I go to animation on the top right, choose the reveal in, then reveal and scale down animation. Starting from the cover color, the cover animation in and out movement, the type of ease and so on. Customize anything you want. Let's play the animation of this slider, and wow, it looks fantastic! Example number 6 
see this blue rectangle and the shoe image, I want to give them a nice animation. So after it's selected, I go to animation on the top right, choose move in, then long move from the top. Customize its setting to your liking and in the animation timing set the ease to expo and the ease type to out. Now it's time to give this shoe image a cool move. Once selected, go to animation, custom transforming and choose transform in. I want it to appear from the top, so I customized its movement and everything for better movement. I am also setting its ease to spring 1. This is how spring movement looks on a graph. Play the animation and enjoy the result. That's it everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments if you have any question or if there is anything else you'd like to learn. Thanks for watching.